Hi, my name is Charlie White, and today we're going to be here in Pointe Mall ice fishing for smelt. Smelt is a small little saltwater fish that will actually come up into the brooks to spawn. People will normally start fishing smelts as soon as we get enough ice out here to safely do so. Before you go ice fishing, you're going to need an auger or an ice pick to get through the ice. Augers are the easiest. Uh, you're going to need fishing rod, whether it's a store-bought rod or a homemade rod. You're going to need some jigs. You're going to need some bait. I like to use squid tentacles. Some people use chicken skin. And you can also use artificial lures. When you're at a lake or, or an area where you're going to go ice fishing and you don't know what the ice conditions are, you want to drill a test hole first. You're fairly close to shore. Move out another 10 feet and drill another hole. They say anywhere between four to six inches is good for humans out there on the ice. Personally, I want a foot of ice or more under my feet. It's always good to fish with others. But if you're going out by yourself, make sure you have some sort of a safety plan. You tell somebody exactly where you're going and exactly when you're expected to return. Okay, so once you get out to your, your spot and you, if you determine where you're gonna be fishing, you, you drill your hole. And as all that snow and ice is coming up out of the hole, I like to try and clear that away. Once my auger breaks through the ice, and I'm gonna quickly uh, plunge up and down with that auger, I'm gonna pull up some water and it's gonna help flush that hole. And then after that, I'm just gonna take a little scoop and I'm gonna scoop out that hole. Now it's time probably to bait your hook and get fishing. So something to keep in mind when you're fishing for smelt, patience. Patience is your most successful tool you can take with you on that ice. Whether or not you catch any fish, it's just a great time to get outside in the fresh air and enjoy this wonderful Newfoundland and Labrador outdoors. So if you want to see more fishing adventures, check out my YouTube channel at NL Ghost Wolf.